Mr. Yusuf had some pencils, erasers and rulers. The ratio of the number of pencils to the number of erasers was 5 to 1. After giving away 16 erasers, the ratio of the number of rulers to the number of erasers was 5 to 1. Mr. Yusuf bought another 184 rulers. As a result, there were an equal number of pencils and rulers. How many erasers did he have at first? Okay, first thing first, lots of information, three marks. So let's do um, as per normal. So we have five to one. All right. First of all, we have PER. So let's write PER five is to one from here and uh, box up because I have no idea how many uh, parts are there. Okay, I I'm going to name this as parts. All right. So but we know there's a change one minus 16. So um, is one to four from here. Um, I can't call this parts and parts, so I have to call this parts and units. So this is one unit is to four units. Then, um, bought another one eight four. So one eight four, and then you get one is to one. All right, because equal number, one is to one. Okay, did you see that the number of um pencils didn't change? So this is same one, three identities or three objects. So times five, times five. And this is... Um, so this becomes five parts. So this is five parts as well. So can you see that there's something uh, interesting here? One part minus of 16 to give you one unit. So you can see the re uh, relationship between parts and units. All right. So now let's compare these two. Four units plus one eight four to become to become five parts. Okay, fine. Yeah, it's okay. Then, but how do we change five parts to units? Five parts is actually five of um five units and five of sixteen. So five units and five times sixteen, which is eighty. So the difference is one u here, which is one eight four minus of eighty, and it's one zero four. Now. They want how many erasers did he have at first, which is here. So one part is one unit, which is 104, plus 16, which is 120, and that's the answer.